Preston Physics Grade 11 Forces Note 1 Fundamental Forces When we're starting with forces, we always have to start with dynamics. Now, we're going to start by looking at kinematics first, which we talked about last unit. And this is how things are moving. We deal with displacement, velocity, acceleration, and time. Now, dynamics, dynamics explains why the things are moving. With this, we look at force, acceleration, and mass. If we have an object and it's got some force being applied to it in one direction, well, what that means is it's going to accelerate in that direction. Nothing's opposing it. Now, in this diagram, we only have one force showing. This is known as our net force. And when an object experiences a net force, it's going to accelerate in the direction the force is facing. Most objects have more than one force acting on them at one time, though, and we'll look at that later. We are now going to look at the four forces that make up all of nature as we know it. We're going to start with gravity, and we're going to give them all strengths relative to one another. So gravity is a strength of one, and it is the attractive force that is exerted by any mass. In our diagram here, we have the sun and the earth, and they both experience force of gravity from each other and it's the same in each direction. The next force we're going to look at is electromagnetism. It is a relative strength of 10 to the exponent 36. Now electromagnetism is the force from magnets or from charges. Now this can be either an attractive or a repulsion so when we're looking at this we have to look at both the attractive force and the repulsive force. So magnets and north and south are going to attract each other. Likewise, a positive and negative ion will also attract each other. But if we have two positive ions, they're going to repel each other. All of these are electromagnetic forces. The next force we're going to look at is weak nuclear. This has a strength of 10 to the 25. Now this is the force that is able to turn neutrons into protons during radioactive decay. So when we look at this, we're going to have some atom with a nucleus that has a number of protons and a number of neutrons inside of it. Now during the radioactive decay, so if we have, in this case, three protons and four neutrons, we're then going to end up with four protons and three neutrons. This all takes place during alpha, beta, and gamma radioactive decay. The final force we're going to look at is strong nuclear. This has a relative strength of 10 to the 38. It's the strongest of our four forces, and it's the glue that holds a nucleus together. It keeps all of the stuff inside the nucleus, not allowing it to break up like it actually should. If we look at a nucleus, we have a whole bunch of positives inside, which actually repel each other. They're going to repel each other in all the directions, and this strong nuclear force actually opposes all of those and holds the nucleus into one spot. This means that our strong nuclear force is greater than our electromagnetic force of the protons which are trying to repel each other. We are going to discuss these forces as well as the chart at the bottom of your page a little bit more in class. The questions assigned from this note are 1 and 2 from your second unit in your yellow duotang.